Hello planning people, it's Plan With Nairi and I've got the 7th to the 13th here. This is my project planner and I've got these two books so I'm going to see how I get on just using the two of them. I know this is a, an oldie one and so is this one but you know. So I'm not using wax paper and I've not pre-planned so we're just going to go straight for it. So first of all I want to just see what kind of colour theme I'm going to go for. I mean all these stickers are really cute so yeah I think I might go for this like ochre kind of colour as one of the colours anyway um hope you guys are well anyway if you've not found me obviously my name's Nairi please subscribe to my channel it's all nearly all happy planner with a bit of junk journaling thrown in I do vertical I do dashboard that one's nice as well isn't it all sorts of things on there so I'd love to see you my growing family and of course if you are returning and you're one of my regulars then thank you because I feel like that's my little family and I'm really grateful I quite like that combo there although we can have finally the weekend That'd be nice So he's going to work well, isn't he? And this is where I think potentially some other black stickers could come in. As long as I balance out the spread, because if I introduce black on one side, I feel like I do need to do it on the other side. about if we put that one there and that one there yeah I've almost ripped that tail but I've managed to rescue that here that's nice and I think that then picks up on that colour so I'm gonna include that over the other side Um, I feel like with that one I do need to get rid of some lines it's quite nice I think quite like this colour never used to like it but I've actually got it in my dress a little bit of my ponderings I think that could work it's got both the black and the ochre in it so that's gonna be quite nice I'm gonna put one on the right could go there the last spread I've just done was my dashboard my big normally catch all dashboard but I did actually put some trackers in there for my sleep and can find that one but I did go wittering on a bit about my son's school and all the problems we're having because I was stressed and I just needed to get it out you know I've calmed down now so this spread probably seems a bit quieter uh, so just looking into another school but
all right I think it's gradually coming together I feel like I'm gonna need more block color of that if I can I like these little tabs as well because I could do some sideways to kind of like introduce a thought or a point so this planner this project page I think what I'm going to be using it for is actually working out exactly what the pages are going to be in the sticker book that I'm painting the images for so actually every page what will it be will it be animals on one page will it be boxes what colors will they be plan out the whole 30 pages with ideas on here obviously I'm not going to be able to do it in one spread but that's what I'm going to use this for so it's quite an exciting spread in many ways isn't it as well I've got a lot of them I think I'd quite like to see it there though it's nice to build up a cluster I think it makes the spread really interesting and that is growing into quite some cluster isn't it so I think it's over here we're going to go maybe put it over here and build a bit of a cluster around this one to get something interesting going on this side it's like together the spread might look like it's got enough on it but apart the pages don't uh, that one could work I was hoping for something a bit more filled in though that's interesting maybe that one oh, I've got two of those as well see that's weird isn't it like that's got the zebras on it I was hoping for that to have the tigers on it but it doesn't so I don't want to introduce the tigers I mean sorry the zebras I'm gonna put this let's move it around a minute okay yeah these are nice they're a bit brighter than the actual orange but it is an orangey red go back to some blacks and then introduce some shape perhaps so I like those a lot. I think it's always nice to introduce a circle or a hexagon or something different if you can. It's up to you of course but I think it looks nice so I'm going to put a hexagon over here. One of the main reasons why I'm getting loads of planning done today is because it's de-stressing me. Let me know in the comments if you find that that happens for you. I mean obviously if your spread goes wonky or wrong it doesn't de-stress does it? it makes it worse but I think for me it's quite de-stressing and I like that okay. I say I like that I need that. Okay so I'm not liking the white out coming through but that is what it is it's quite a thin sticker so okay so I'm now just going to look for some little embellishments we'll just make the finished article so I'm going to do this one and then I'm going to look for a sidebar from elsewhere because I think it needs it so um, let's see what I can find I seem to be doing a lot of whiting out for this spread Yeah, that's nice. Okay, see what I can find for down there now. I must admit, I did want to find something different, but I think this will work. So this is a lovely sidebar, and it is from this book, Wild and Styled. So let's get that one down. Oh, 
there we are guys i hope you've enjoyed that if you have please subscribe to plan with nairi and i'll see you on the rest of my channel thank you